Stayallday.com. Now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there, even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative, which is the go-getter energy that moves all of us, including you, including me. It's going to make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is how to get funding for your business. This is something that a lot of entrepreneurs have asked me about lately, so we are going to get into it today. But before we get started, let me remind or inform everybody that I send out a text message every morning that is guaranteed to have you focused, sharp, and on point to start your day. I call this message the Daily Motivation. I send it out for free to everybody who's in my texting community every morning. So if you are not already in my texting community, here's what you need to do to join it. Send me a text right now. My number, which is 305-384-6894. And every morning when a Daily Motivation text comes out, because you're a member of my text community, you'll be getting that message. Again, it'll do exactly what I said it's going to do every day to start your day. Secondly, Work On Your Game University is where I do all of my coaching. That's where all our higher level trainings and courses are at. That's also where, when you are a member, you'll be getting my two physical mailings that I send out every month, which is the Bulletproof Bulletin and the Black Book. The way you join the university is go to workonyourgameuniversity.com. We got a couple different options there. You can subscribe and get the Black Book and Bulletproof Bulletin. Uh, you can just get that every month if you want. You can also, when you go to the next level, which includes everything at the previous level, you can get access to all the courses and trainings to take at your own pace. And then at the next level, you can get directly coached by me. There's only one level where I do any direct coaching. So anybody asking, Dre, do you do any coaching? Yes, there's only one place I do it. That's at Work On Your Game University. You must get on a call with me or somebody on my team to talk about who you are, where you're at, where you want to go. We'll tell you what it looks like and how it will work. If you want to be coached by me, again, that is all at Work On Your Game University. Dot com. So with all that said, let's get into this topic here, which is how to get funding for your business, which, again, is a topic that many entrepreneurs, um, they don't necessarily ask me about it, but they mention it. They don't just say, Dre, how do I get funding? They say, Dre, I'm you know, building a business or I have a business or I want to get a business. or I want to start a business. Or I want to expand or build my business. But the challenge is I don't have funding and I know that I need funding in order to take my business where I want it to go. So this is one of the common things that I've been hearing. I've been hearing this one a lot this year. I don't know if this is maybe just people just started bringing it up more to me or this is just a newer thing that all of a sudden everybody's looking for funding for their business because a lot of entrepreneurs feel. And I understand this feeling that the number one thing that you need in business is some sort of funding, i.e. money, so that you can use that money to go and execute on your plans, whatever they happen to be. The challenge is. Getting funding is not necessarily a simple or easy thing to do because everyone understands what it is. Funding is just no money that you can use, money that you can play with to do what you want to do in business. But this is not always an easy thing to do. The good news for all of you is that I'm going to tell you some ways to get funding in your business here in today's episode. So any of you who feels like funding is the only thing between where you are, where you want to go, you feel like that's the bridge between here and there, and there pay attention today. Make sure you take notes on what I say. And most importantly, Execute on one of the at least one of these points that I share. Ideally, you execute on all of them, and that'll it will solve your problem of needing funding in your business. So let's get to it. Put a pause on this and go and grab something to take notes with so that you don't miss anything. Save this episode, download it, whatever you got to do, make sure you do not miss these points. Point number one, today's topic once again is how to get funding for your business. Number one thing you can do if you want to get funding for your business is go fucking sell something. Now I'm gonna take a sip of water while you write that one down. You want to get funding for your business, go fucking sell something. Go sell something. This is the best, cleanest, smartest, fastest, most efficient way to get funding for your business is for you to go sell something. First of all, when you sell something, and I'm, I'm selling you on why this is the best way to do it. When you sell something, you don't have to pay the money back. You get funding, you have to get that money back. Whatever amount you get funded, you owe that money back to whoever gave you the money. All right, the bank gives you $10,000, you owe them $10,000 plus interest. Anybody gives you, somebody gives you $100,000, you owe them that $100,000 plus interest. Now, they may give you some time to get it back, to give them the money back. I get it. And maybe you'll make enough money with the money that you borrow that you can you know, afford to pay it back. Hopefully, that's the deal. That's the goal, right? But you got to give it back. If you go sell something, you don't have to get the money back. See, when you sell things, there's no kickback. You don't have to pay back the person who paid you. 
You don't have to fill out any paperwork or applications when you sell something. When you get funding, you must fill out paperwork and applications. It may not be a long paperwork or application, but there is paperwork and there is an application. When you are selling things, you are not limited by your race, gender, sexual preference, or social economic background. There was a, uh, what company was this? Company put out, uh, we're doing funding for businesses. We're giving small business funding out. And they had like this quick little one page application. And I filled it out because I'll take the money. Now, this is not the type of funding where you have to give it back. This is like a grant where they're going to give you the money because they just want to do a good thing, give the money. I filled it out. I don't, if I had to bet money on whether or not I would get the grant or not, I had put it from zero to 100. I say it's maybe about an 8% chance that I get the grant. I didn't really, no, I didn't try to make it seem like uh, any kind of sob story type of thing, which I think is where they're going to, who they're going to give the money to. And it even had a question in the grant application, it was like simple one page. It only had like three blocks where you could actually say something. And and the last one was, uh, what about your background? Uh, it, was, it said optional. Here's, it was an optional question. This is the third, like, fill in the blank question. The first one was like, tell us about your business and what you do. Second one was like, uh, why do you do what you do? And third one was this question. And the quote unquote optional question. Here's the question. What about your uh, possibly marginalized background uh, has a been a, a roadblock or a challenge for you in building your business? That was the question. And in parentheses, it said, if you're black, if it, anything about your, your gender or your, um, like your sexual preference has been a, a hindrance in order and for you to get what you want to get in your business. So let me translate that for you. It's basically letting you know that if you happen to not be a person of color and you are not, uh, in the LGBTQ community, you might as well not even fill out this application because you ain't getting the money. Uh, that's basically what they were letting you know. And when you are looking for funding from someone who is kind of being the, a benefactor for you in whatever way, even if they're giving you money that you don't have to give back, like in this case, like a grant or something like that, understand that you still got to show some type of, you got to show some type of a hardship or some type of challenge. And some of you, may not have a compelling enough. We all got some kind of challenge in, in our lives, but your challenge may not be compelling enough compared to the other challengers out there who have challenges. And especially if you have immutable traits that just translate to not challenged. All right, so you happen to be a, a white man who's attracted to females. All right, you're not challenged enough, no matter what you got going on in your life. All right, <laughs> it, it ain't happening. All right, so these things are, these are all factors these days when you're trying to get funding. You don't have to worry about any of this if you just go sell something. Uh, you don't have to prove any type of hardship. You don't have to prove that you have a financial need. And again, your level of need may be different from someone else's. Uh, maybe you're making $180,000 a year, but you have set a standard that you want to make $250,000. So you have a need because you need to make seventy dollars more, whereas you're competing against somebody who's making $35,000 a year and they just want to make enough to pay the bills every month. And your need against their need, their need is probably going to win, uh, depending on who you're talking to. Most of the time, no matter who you're talking to, their need is going to win, beat yours simply because you're in a quote unquote better space than they are. Look, you might need to pay bills, too. You just may have a, a more expensive lifestyle than they do. But who cares about that? For the most part, nobody. And those of you who understand what I mean, you understand what I mean. Uh, none of this matters when you're selling stuff. All right. There is no interest when you sell things because, again, you're not paying anything back. So you're not paying back. 10,000 plus interest or 100,000 plus interest. You're just, you just got what you got. So you don't owe back extra on top of what you were funded. These are all things, by the way, that when you get funding in a traditional way, these all, these things all are part of the game. So everything I said there, these are not, um, hypotheticals. All right. These are all real. All right. These things all actually happen. And any of you who deals in the, the funding space, you know what I'm talking about. So you don't have to deal with any of this stuff when you actually sell something. All the money, whatever you sell your thing for is all yours. This is everything I'm saying here. Again, it's 30% tongue in cheek, but the other 7% is serious because, again, selling is the smartest and the simplest way to generate money for your business. So any of you who's looking to generate money for your business and you're saying, well, I need funding. Let me tell you what you probably need to do. You need to get better at selling whatever it is that you're selling. If you don't have a thing to sell, you need to go make the thing and start selling it before you start saying that you need funding because it's going to be very hard to get funding if you haven't made any money yet. Now, there are some ways you can make money when you have not yet funded anything, but and I'm going to get to those in a second, but you got to be making some money. See, the challenge is funding always, actually, before I get to that, many lazy entrepreneurs, and some of you, let's be honest, some of you are just lazy entrepreneurs. You don't want to go out and sell because you think that getting funding is easier and 
a frictionless way of going and making things happen. You can get money in your pocket without actually having to go and sell something. Challenges, first of all, funding is selling in the first place. For you to get funding, you must sell something to somebody. You have to sell an idea to them in order to get funding. And it's very hard to sell ideas to people, especially if they don't know you. And also funding also always comes with strings, always comes with strings. You don't just, somebody doesn't just drop money on you without getting something back from you in exchange. Remember the first rule of economics is that there is no such thing as a free lunch. Any funding you receive comes with a hook. Sales on the other hand, do not. The easiest way to get money is to go and sell something. All right, so go and sell something. What is that that you're gonna sell? What is it that you're offering? How much are you selling it for? And how many people have you tried to sell it to? If you're not actively out there trying to sell, then you should not be actively out there trying to get funding. Why? Because first of all, you're probably not going to get it. So it's an, it's an exercise in futility. And secondly, even if you were to get it, the deal that you get is not going to be that great of a deal simply because you have no proven track record. You have not proven that you can actually make money from it. So if you were a bank, if you are a person who could fund someone, you were an angel investor, would you fund a person who has never sold anything and has not proven that their thing can actually be sold, would you give that person money? Really, you would? With the risk that you won't get a dollar of it back, you would give that person money? I don't think that you would. Everyone who I know, and I know a lot of people in business, everyone who I know who has ever gotten funding for their business, any type of funding, whether it was PayPal or Stripe offering capital because they you know see what you're see what you're doing already or you getting some kind of private equity investment or just having a individual person just deciding to buy into your business buying a percentage of your business for a certain amount of money because you use it for working capital every single person i have seen or known who has ever gotten even one dollar of funding for their business got it because they had already proven that they could sell something they were already actively doing business not prospective business but actual business Point number two, today's topic, once again, is how to get funding for your business. Keep your day job and start paying yourself first. So you want to get funding for your business. You haven't been able to get the funding that you want from some outside source. Here's how you can become the bank. You can become your own bank. Keep your day job, which is paying you a paycheck every two weeks, right? And start paying yourself first. That means taking some money out of your salary, out of your paychecks that regularly are coming in and putting aside that money as an investment fund or money that you will use to invest in your business. So if you're getting a thousand dollars a week, just using a simple example here, take fifty dollars out of that thousand, every paycheck that comes in, or a hundred or five hundred or whatever amount you can, put that aside and let that money slowly stack up, and then use that money as the funding that you were looking for for your business. Uh, you, anybody can do this right now. So you can become the funding source of your own business. Good news about this, as you become the funding right there. The good news about this is that you don't owe anybody anything back. You don't owe anybody anything back. There's no interest that needs to be paid on this. This is all your money. The challenge with this is that you must put the structure in place that allows for the discipline for you to pay yourself, even if right now you feel like you don't have any extra funds with which to pay yourself. You say, Dre, that sounds good, but I don't have any extra money right now. Right now, every dollar that I make is going to bills and living expenses, etc. We talked about this a few episodes back. The way that you pay yourself first, and this is just a basic uh, economic rule, basic personal finance rule is a better way of saying it. It's not even about economics in the big picture, but personal finance. Every one of you listening to me should be paying yourself first. I don't care how much money you make. You could be working at Walmart, making a minimum wage. You could be the lowest person on the totem pole. You need to be paying yourself first. Even if you take a dollar out of every paycheck that comes through, that money needs to go somewhere that is your money, your personal money, or your personal investment money, whatever you want to do with it. You want to hide it under the mattress. You want to put it in the bank. You want to put it in a checking or savings account. You want to put it into some type of investment vehicle, but you must be paying yourself first. If you don't pay yourself first, and instead you just let all your money go to uh, bills and whoever else you owe, then you will find that that money will always find its way out of your bank account to where there's nothing left. That will, that's just, it just happens. This is just, the, it's kind of like Parkinson's law. All right, the task will expand or contract given the amount of space given to them. So if you give yourself uh, $1,000 a month to spend on your living expenses, you will find a way to spend $1,000 a month on living expenses. But if you give yourself 950 and say 50 is going is my money, that's my money to keep. I'm paying myself first that 50 bucks. You will find a way to live on $950. This is just Parkinson's law. Remember, folks, this is a law. It's not a theory. The challenge with this is, again, you got to put the structure in place that allows for this discipline 
even if you feel like you don't have extra money right now. Some of you have the objection, I'm having extra money right now. Well, here's, the, here's my response to your objection. You will never have extra money until you put the discipline in place, the structure that leads to the discipline in place for you to pay yourself first. If you don't do that, you'll keep not having extra money. Uh, you will have this problem still next year and five years from now that you have now. So this is probably the biggest challenge. Many of you who have, if you have a nine to five job, but you are building a business on the side, or at least you want to, the biggest challenge many of you have is that you think your biggest challenge is, is funding, but what you actually need is a structure that will allow the funding to be in place. Again, you could be your own fund. I mean, think about how much money you make a year. If you had that much money right now in cash for your business, would that solve your problems? For most of you, the answer is yes. Average American makes, average American income, household income is $47,000 a year. Household. So that's a single and married average. $47,000 a year. If you have $47,000 in cash right now, you had to use it just for business, would that solve your issues? Most of you ain't looking for more than that when it comes to funding. Would that solve all your problems? Yes. Or it doesn't mean you got to put all your, you get, or you got to, or that you even can put all your money aside for funding. But if you start putting the structure in place, you can start putting money aside and eventually have some amount of money that you can play with when it comes to your business. Whether that means you're going to sign up for a course, you're going to hire a coach, you're going to buy a ticket to an event, or you need to buy some software, some physical equipment, whatever it happens to be. But you got to start putting money aside, folks. Even if you do something where you get on a payment plan, you got to at least have a down payment. It's like you go get a car. Most of you don't buy the car in cash at sticker price. You put down a certain amount of money, then based on your credit and whatever you're trading in, et cetera, they tell you what the monthly payment will be. Uh, you can handle the monthly payment. You just need that upfront money. So the upfront money doesn't need to be the full amount that you need. You just need something to get started with. Okay. So if you're not paying yourself first, this is your biggest challenge. Is the fact that is not the fact that you need funding. It's the fact that you're not paying yourself first. Now, if you have no money coming in right now, then you need to go back to point number one. You need to sell something selling something and sell something consistently so that you can have money coming in on a consistent basis or at least you're trying to sell it consistently point number three today's topic once again is how to get funding for your business number three find people who have money but no ideas people who have money but no ideas these are these people are often known as investors and there are different types of investors and you have institutional investors you have angel investors, you have everyday investors, you have people who are, don't even call themselves investors, but they could be investors for you because they have money, but they have no ideas. So these people do exist and they will invest in a business that makes sense. If the owner of that business can show them how the money that the investor gives can make the investor money. In other words, if you come to me and ask for $100,000, you can show me how my $100,000 is going to earn back $300,000 that's $300,000 back to me. So I'm making a three times return on investment with my money. And let's say the next five years, then I will gladly give you $100,000. All right, my hundred grand is going to turn into 300 grand. I will gladly give you 100 grand right now if you can prove to me that that's what's going to happen. I'm not talking about in theory. Now you got to prove it. The only way you can prove it is that you got to be actively selling right now. See, this is the thing. This is why you got to be in the game. If you're not in the game right now selling, I don't care what projections you have, your projections are not proof. Proof is, here's what I did with the last $100,000 somebody gave me. Here's what I did with the 100000 before that. Here's what I did with the 100000 before that. Why would I not just keep doing the same thing that I've always been doing? Folks, what's the number one indicator of future performance? Past performance. But you gotta, So you got to be able to show how that's going to happen. The easiest way to show me you can make money in the future is to show me that you are making money in the present. Are you bringing money in now? The answer is no. Then why would anybody believe you're going to bring money in in the future? Doesn't mean somebody who's doing nothing now can't start doing something tomorrow, but that's not proof that you'll do something tomorrow. So you're asking somebody to speculate with their money. And many people don't speculate with their money. The way people get to a position of having a good amount of money is by not making dumb decisions with money. That's how they got there. So I'm, I'm just telling you the way that whoever you may be going to, how they might be thinking and why their answer to you may be no if you ain't got anything to bring to the table. Businesses that get funding most often are businesses that are already doing something. They're already making money. Why? Because they're already in motion. They're already in momentum. And investors are happy to give money to companies that are already in momentum because they can see that they're going to make their money back. Why would they give money to a company that ain't got nothing going on? That's a big risk financially. And again, people don't make get to have get to the point of having a lot of money, what some of you would call rich or wealthy, whatever you want to call it. They don't get to that point by making dumb decisions with money. Simple as that. 
Investing in someone who has nothing going on in their business right now, which might be you, would be a dumb decision. Why would anybody do that? When I can instead invest in someone who's already making money. If you had a choice, what would you do? So they're either going to look for businesses that are already making money or a business that is not making money yet. However, it is headed by a person who has a proven track record of bringing in the money. So if you can bring in someone on your team who has a proven track record of making money move, that can help your case. If you don't have that track record, you need somebody who does have that track record because their, their name and prestige could actually help your situation. This is why you need to be networking. This is why you need to be outside. This is why you need people to know you. So if you can't afford to go to events where people are, let me respond to that uh, objection. You can't not afford to go to. You can't not afford to not go to events. I, I double negative myself there. Let me say that again. You can't not afford to not be there. Yeah, that's the right way to say it. You got to be in the room. I just paid $3,500 for a ticket to an event. Not because I'm so interested in what the people on the stage are going to say. I don't even know who's going to be on the stage. And the main person who's going to be on the stage, I pretty much know everything that that person has to say. I'm going there because I want to meet the people who, the other people who are going to pay $3,500 to be there. Those are the people I want to meet. I want to meet those people. I don't care about the guy on the stage. Well, let me not say I don't care about them. I'll listen to them, but I'm there to meet the people who are coming in the room. I'm there to meet the other individuals there. I'm there to see and be seen. I want to see, be seen, heard, and known by other people who have paid $3,500 or $1,500 or $5,000 for a ticket to a conference. Those are the people I want to meet. That's why I pay. You can't afford not to be there. I can't afford not to be there if I want to take my business role or business deal. Everybody understand what I'm saying here? I want to meet the people walking around the lobbies and the hallways who also got a ticket. All right, this is why you need to be outside and active, folks. So if you're reading between the lines of what I just said, you just reverse that. All right. I'm going there to do business, which means to bring money in, but I'm putting money out in order to learn more about how I could bring money in. Whether I'm learning from another person, I'm meeting another person, I'm making a connection, I'm getting seen by somebody who might, somebody might see me there, they know me. They say, oh, Jerry, you're here. I want to meet, I want to talk to you anyway. All right. I've, been, I've been following you on YouTube, listen to your podcast, whatever it happens to be. But you got to be in the game, folks. You got to get outside. And any of you who are saying that you can't do any of these things, listen, you can't not do any of these things is what you actually need to be saying. Let's recap today's class, which is how to get funding for your business. I talk to entrepreneurs every day, and this seems to be one that's coming up a lot, that people talking about that they need funding or they're trying to get funding, even though most of them are not going to get funding, not in the way that they think they're going to get funding. I'm going to tell you some different ways to get funding. Number one, go and fucking sell something. All right, this is the best, cleanest, easiest, most efficient, and smartest way to get funding for your business is to go sell something because that's your money. You don't have to pay it back. There are no strings attached, and you don't owe anybody anything. Number two, keep your day job and start paying yourself first. Take some money out of the paycheck you're receiving from your job, put it aside, put it into an investment vehicle, or just put it in the bank, put it under your mattress, whatever you're doing, and start stacking that money up so then you have some money to play with so you can get started and you can be your own bank instead of having somebody else be your bank. Because if somebody else is being your bank, understand that there is a hook. Attached to that, there is no such thing as a free lunch. That's the first law of economics. Never forget it. Number three, find people who have money but no ideas. These are also known as investors. They have money to give and they want to make money on their money, but they don't have ideas to invest in themselves with that money. So they'd rather invest in someone else who has an idea. The thing is, they are not dummies. They didn't get to the point of having a bunch of money because they just throw money away uh, ridiculously or recklessly. They give money to someone who looks like they can make more money. And number one indicator of future performance is past performance. So when you show that you are making money right now, then it's easy for someone to see that you'll make money in the future. So any of you who use a online payment processor, you know that many of them these days will offer you some type of funding. It could be a small amount of money, like a couple thousand dollars. It could be big amounts of money. It could be in the six figures that they will offer you. And they offer it to you based on a, a uh, calculated formula that they have that they see what kind of activity you already have going on. And they'll offer you funding because they see that you're already bringing money in. But they don't offer you money if you ain't got no activity going on. All right, they offer you money because you have activity going on. So you got to be showing that you're doing something and they'll be willing to do more with you. All that said, text me. Tell me the best point you got from today's class. My number is 305-384-6894. And workonyourgameuniversity.com. You want to learn in the Business Builder Framework. I teach this at Work On Your Game University. We talk mindset, strategy, systems, execution. I will teach you how to go out and actually sell something. If you don't have that thing created, I'll teach you how to do that. Then go out there and sell it, how to have those conversations and you can start selling and selling at the price point that you actually want to be selling at. So you make the money you want to make and get what you want to get out of your business. That's at workonyourgameuniversity.com. Work on your game. Dre, all day.